hello love is grace and peace everybody thank you so much for clicking into this video hope all is well with you now today we are going to be making our favorite combination that is rice and beans combination i hope you stay tuned you'll like this video you'll share it with your loved ones and thank you so much for clicking do not forget to like comment and subscribing it's free now this is vlogmas day one so stay tuned for vlogmas day 2 until vlogmas day 25 and in the meantime do not forget to check the description box below i'll put the verse of the day and the list of the ingredients so let's get straight into cooking into your cooking pan or pot you're going to be adding some oil just a little bit of oil then we're going to be adding our onions well chopped onions in any shape or size that you like then you're going to be mixing it around now the ingredients of this uh, recipe i will put them in the description box below please make sure you check that so that you may know the ingredients before you start making this recipe now you can adjust the ingredients according to the size of your family and all is going to be well now after mixing the onions and oil you're going to let your onions wilt down but not brown just wilt down for a bit then you'll add your spices now for spices we just add cumin powder and paprika after that we are going to reduce the heat so that our spices do not burn you will go ahead and mix your spices with your onions and then you will let them cook for at least one to two minutes after two minutes we'll go ahead and add in one tablespoon of tomato paste and then we're just going to be mixing it around the reason we are adding tomato paste is for color and also so that we may get that a little bit of tanginess or acidity into our dish Then we're going to add our washed rice. After that, we're going to be mixing our rice with the onions and the rest of the spices that were in our pot. Then we are going to be adding our main star of this dish, which is the beans. Now for the beans, I used red beans. You can use any beans, but preferably, please just go ahead and use red beans because they pop they bring that color and they are so so delicious when paired with rice then you go ahead and stir everything around so that the beans can mix well with the rice then you go ahead and add in your coconut milk now this is the first batch of coconut milk that i added and then i'm going to be mixing everything around test for salt then add a pinch of salt and mix it around and cover my pot and let it cook and reduce the heat now after 10 minutes or so you're going to remove the lid add your veggies at this point then for me i added some carrots and some green bell pepper but you can add also yellow green bell pepper it's all up to you as you can see i tested just to see how hard or soft my rice has become then i'll add in another batch of coconut milk and just a tiny bit of salt because my salt was not salting then you want to flip your rice so that your rice can cook well in both sides that is the bottom and the top part of the rice just be gentle at this point because you don't want to break your rice or break um, the beans after mixing we are going to cover our pot and let it um, cook again until it is well cooked or until it is soft now at this point i'll add just a tiny bit of coconut oil of coconut milk and I will cover my pot first with the foil, then with the lid. And the reason I do this is because rice mostly cooks with moisture. Now, when I cover it with the foil, it means that it prevents the moisture to get out of the pot so that it cooks faster and the rice will come out looking so, so fluffy and good. Now, after 10 minutes, I will remove the lid. As you can see in my foil and at this point my rice is actually cooked and it is ready to be eaten i'll just flip it 
because I love flipping my rice, which I do not advise people to do that because if you're not really good at flipping, you're going to break your rice. And as you can see, the white residues or the white particles is the coconut milk that I added at the end point and I did not flip when I did that. So it just left some white particles, which it's okay. And at this point, my rice is ready to be eaten. At this point, your rice is ready. It's fluffy. It's so, so, so delicious. Now, you have to try this recipe and let me know in the comments below that if you tried it, if you liked it, if you're going to try it, please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Also, do not forget to subscribe. Also, check the description box so that you can see the list of ingredients and i will put the verse of the day there thank you so much for watching vlogmas day one and stay tuned for vlogmas day two until vlogmas day 25 please pray for me as well thank you so much love you see you next time Bye bye